Well, hello again. Today is April 13th, and we are in the uh, book of Joshua, chapter 15, verse 1 through chapter 16, 10. And here we read, Now the lot for the tribe of the sons of Judah, according to their families, reached the border of Edom, southward to the wilderness of Zin at the extreme south. Their south border was from the lower end of the Salt Sea, from the bay that turns to the south. Then it proceeded southward to the ascent of Ak- Akrabim and continued to Zin, then went up by the south of Kadesh Barnea and continued to Hezron and went up to Adar and turned about at Karka to Karka. It continued to Asmon and proceeded to the brook of Egypt and the border ended at the sea. This shall be your south border. The east border was the Salt Sea, as far as the mouth of the Jordan. And the border of the north side was from the bay of the sea at the mouth mouth of the Jordan. Then the border went up to Beth-Hogla and continued on the north to Beth-Araba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. The border went up to Debir from the valley of Acre and turn northward toward Gilgal, which is opposite the ascent of Adamim, which is on the south of the valley. And the border continued to the waters of Enshemesh, and it ended at Enrogel. Then the border went up the valley of Ben-Hinnom to the slope of the Jebusite on the south, that is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the mouth, to the top of the mountain, which is before the valley of Hinnom, to the west, which is at the end of the valley of Rephaim, toward the north. From the top of the mountain of the border, from the top of the mountain, the border curved to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah and proceeded to the cities of Mount Ephron. Then the border curved to Bale, that is, kiriath Jerim. The border turned about from Bala toward westward to Mount Seir and continued to the slope of Mount Jerim, on the north, that is, Chesalon, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and continued through Timna. The border proceeded to the south of Ekron northward. Then the border curved to Shikaron, and continued to Mount Baala, and proceeded to Jabneel. And the border ended at the sea. The west border was at the Great Sea, even its coastline. This is the border around the sons of Judah, according to their families. Now he gave to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, a portion among the sons of Judah, according to the command of the Lord, to Joshua, namely Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is Hebron. Caleb drove out from there the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahaman and Talmai, the children of Anak. Then he went up from there against the inhabitants of Debir. Now the name of the Debir formerly was Kiriath Sefer. And Caleb said, The one who attacks Kiriath Sefer and captures it, I will give him Aksa, my daughter, as a wife. Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, captured it. So he gave him Aksa, his daughter, as a wife. It came about that when she came to him, she persuaded him to ask her father for a field. So she alighted from the donkey, and Caleb said to her, What do you want? Then she said, Give me a blessing. Since you have given me the land of Negev, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the sons of Judah, according to their families. Now the cities at the extremity of the tribe of the sons of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabziel, the elder, the, and Eder, and Jagor, and Kenna, and Dimno, Dimano, Dimana, and Ada, Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Bealoth, and Hazor had a tith, and Kiriath Hezron, that is Hazor, Amam, and Shema, and Kolada, and Hazor Gada, and Heshmon, and Beth Pelet. And Hazar, Shual, and Beersheba, and Biziothia, Baalah, and Im, and Ezim, and 
El Tolad and Shazil and Horma and Ziklag and Madamana and Sanana and Lobaoth and Shilhim and Ain and Rimmon in all 29 cities with their villages. In the lowland, Eshtoel and Zora and Ashna and Zanoa and Enganim, Tupua and Enam, Jarmuth and Adalim, Soka and Azaka, Shearim and Adathim and Gadara and Gedarothim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zena and Hadasha and Migdal Gad and Dilian and Mizpe and Jokthil, Lakish and Bosta and Eglin, and Kebon and Lamath and Chitlish and Gedaroth, Beg Begdagon and Naama and Mekada, sixteen cities with their villages. Libna and Ether and Ashen, Ifta, Ashna, Nizib, Kila and Azib and Marisha, nine cities with their village. Ekron with its towns and its villages, from Ekron even to the sea, all that were on the side by the side of the Ashdod with their villages. Ashdod, its towns and its villages, Gaza, its towns and its villages, as far as the brook of Egypt and the great sea, even its coastline. In the hill country, Shamir and Jatir and Soka, Adana, Kiriath, Sana, that is the beer, and Ad, Ad, Anab and Eshtoma and Anim, and Goshen and Holon and Gilo, and eleven cities with their villages. Arab and Mula, and Eshen, and Janum, and Beth Tapu, and Pika, and Humta, and Mariath Arba, that is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Juta, Jezreel, Jodium, Zonora, Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah, Timna, ten cities with their villages. Hahul, Bizur, Bethzur, Gidor, Meerath, Beth Anoth, El Tacon, six cities with their villages. Miriath, Baal, that is Kiriath, Jerem, and Reba, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Araba, Midden, and Sakaka, Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and Engedi, six cities with their villages. Now, as for the for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the sons of Judah, could not drive them out. So the Jebusites live with the sons of Judah at, at Jerusalem until this day. Chapter 16. Then the lot of the sons of Joseph went from the Jordan at Jericho to the waters of Jericho in the east into the wilderness, going up from Jericho through the hill country to Bethel. It went from Bethel to Luz and continued to the border of Archite at Adaroth. It went down westward to the territory of Jephletites, of the Jephletites, as far as the territory of Lower Betharon, even to Gezer, and it ended at the sea. The sons of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inheritance. Now this was the territory of the sons of Ephraim. According to their families, the border of their inheritance, eastward as Jadaroth Adder, as far as upper Beth Horon. Then the border went westward to Mikmethath on the north, and the border turned about eastward to Te Teanath Shiloh, and continued beyond it to the east of Genoa. It went down from Genoa to Adaroth and to Neara, which reached Jericho and came out at the Jordan. From Tapua, the border continued westward to the brook of Cana, and it con ended at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the sons of Ephraim, according to their families, together with the cities which were set apart for, for the sons of Ephraim. In the midst of the inheritance of the sons of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages, but they did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites lived in the midst of Ephraim to this day, and they became forced labor. All right, quickly on the Psalm 45, verse 1 through 5. And here we read, My heart overflows 
a good thing. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in your splendor and your majesty, and in your majesty ride on victoriously. For the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness, let your right hand teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp. The peoples fall under you. Your arrows are in the heart of the king's enemies. All right, and quickly on the Proverbs 14, verse 4 through 5, and it reads, Where no oxen are, the manger is clean, but much revenue comes by the strength of the ox. A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness utters lies. All right, that is the end of April 13th. Thank you. God bless. Hope to see you soon.